Hey everybody, here to show you how I'm installing my Govi permanent outdoor lights. Um, I've already put most of them up, but I'm going to show you what I've done so far. They come in a kit, and the kit comes, of course this is a bit of a mess, kit comes with six, this is the 100 photo, so it comes with six strings, and it comes with a power supply and a controller, and I'm going to show you how I mounted mine. Okay, so we're going to run, it, run our cord up from this controller. And I run it through there, and then we run it up into the attic, up into that hole. I use a piece of rigid fish line to fish it up in there. He'll tape it to the end. Okay, so there's my outside hole, and then I take some of these rigid uh, fishing lines for electrical and stick it up in there because it's kind of a low ceiling in there, and I can run it back towards my... Uh, where you can get it. Where I can get to it. I think I'm up to the ceiling now. Anyway, and then I can grab it. I don't have to climb in there. Sorry, that was a jerky video. There we go. We're going to try it. This is my unpaid apprentice. He does okay work. Yeah, it's up there waiting All for right, you. Alright, so then we're going to come up and go through this hole and grab it. Okay, so I'm in the garage out you can see there's the one we we uh fed up through and then this fish line takes me over to the one i want to get it to and you can see the other line i have running through there so i'm going to climb up there grab that one and attach it to this and then we'll just pull that line all the way through and outside okay so i got my other one i've taped it to this now my now go ahead and pull it through and if everything goes according to plan, it should just feed right down and out. And Bob's your uncle and then the wire goes across there. Perfect. So when you use fish tape or a fish tape and then you use your electrical tape, make sure you leave a little tab so you can just peel them off real easy. Uh, otherwise you're fighting those things all the way around. All right, so there's my line that came out from there. And so what my plan is, I'm gonna run the wire along the eave, and then it's gonna go up the gutter to there because my lights are gonna come over to this edge and, and that'll be the termination. So this will all be just power cord coming down here, running along there to the box. And then that way, everything all of my controllers are inside the garage fully accessible don't have to get in an attic or a ladder if i have a power supply issue or controller issue i can just come to my garage and take care of it okay here's where my power supply came in comes in through the roof up there through the attic of the garage there's the on off uh, controller button i think that's the signal generator down the wall and then I put the power supply under here um, obviously it's not permanently mounted because those will fail you may have to take them out and just plug it into power and then it runs outside I'll show you that so it comes in there's where it comes in it comes around over here and you can see my clips up there let me get a better shot for you and I 3d printed these clips I'll show those to you. So here's the clips. I print them in sheets of 20. And I print them at 50%. So they're a little stronger. Because I've used this to put the... Um, to attach them. And I'm using a... A one inch nail. For that. Works pretty well. Seems to be pretty secure. I tried screws. But man, that was a lot of work. Drilling a hole. Put, holding it up. Putting a screw in. And standing on a ladder. And then I have this set on the lowest settings so that it doesn't drive these nails through these things very far. And um, anyway, so and then you can see over here, there they are going around the corner. There's a connection. And then also you wanna put your, um, these are a little too far away maybe, but you wanna put your, your clips. And you do have to use clips, the glue does not work. Um, right next to those pucks so they don't sag. These clips have some give to them, 
So as the wire expands and contracts from heat and cold, it will allow that wire to move. It doesn't hold it, you know, tight, so tight that it'll break. And it goes down and around. And then I'll show you me installing some of these clips in just a minute. Okay, I'm going to show you how to install those clips. One thing you'll probably want to get is some kind of a pouch to hold all your parts. And then I have my nailer. Sorry, that's a bad shot. I have my nailer here, but I attach it to a strap so it can hang at my side. And kind of, when you stand on the ladder, trust me, it makes it nice and easy. Obviously, if you're left to right, you just switch this stuff around. So I'll go out and show you how I install these things in just a sec. Okay, so I don't have a thing to hold my camera. I'm, there's my clips, and you can see that up close. I'm going to put another clip here because I want to make sure that this stays flat in my thing. And I'll show you how I do it with the camera, but you're going to have to um, have to put the phone down so you can see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to put this one up. You can see where the glue didn't stay where I wanted it to stay. And again, I'm, I'm putting these back in the corners where they will look good. And then one other thing is where these connect. Um, I watched one video and it made sense. I cut these off. I mean, these are the caps that go on the end. Um, I just clipped it so you can just pull it off. You could always use it again if you wanted to. But there's no point in leaving this up here because these are in theory should never come apart and you're not going to unless you want to cap an end that's the only thing these are really good for so i did that so anyway we're going over here i'm going to sorry moving this phone around so i will take a clip and put it up there right there i hold it like that with one finger and then um i'm going to set the phone down here so you can see okay i'm going to put some clip up here i want to hold this one up so it doesn't slide much you can see I have a little extra wire here because of the way I routed it, but I wanted these corners lit. And I'll take and do this side too. And want to make sure they're close to these pucks because they are going to, that's the heavy part of the strip and it will fall down. I'm going to put one more back here. Hang on a sec. It's a little twisted, but that's okay. And then I'll take a new close up. You can see how those are. I use screws, but they were a lot more work. I do like these. These these are pretty solid once they're up there. So there's my spliced wire where I wanted to splice this section in here to go to that next thing. And I really didn't want lights. Um, sorry, I really didn't want lights running across here. It just wouldn't make any sense. So I will put some more cords up here because these this wire is a little smaller. I might actually have to 3D print some different clips for this one because it's narrower narrower than, than this one is so okay so that's my finished end I left the cap on it so I can screw it in and I'll clip it up there and it'll be out of the way all right so here's all the clips I 3d printed and then we're sticking them to a piece of tape so we can paint them obviously you can paint them to match your stuff and that way you don't have to fool around with them. You can just do touch up once you've installed them. I pre-painted all of my uh, strings of, li of lights and I just did a little tape around them. Again, same thing there, save some time. We are renting a bucket truck to put these up and I'll put that video online. But if you're doing it from a ladder, it saves you a bunch of time and uh, you don't have to uh, stand on the ladder any longer than you want to. So you can see we're sticking them to the tape we leave room in between because you've got to paint at least three sides, you'll see, maybe four, depending on how yours is. And then when you start painting them, you might have to we leave a little strip at the end so that we can tape them to the, 
thing, keep it from moving. And then if it doesn't stay in a good spot, you might have to use a, a screwdriver to hold it down a little bit. But uh, this is the one's ready to go and this one's just about done. So if you want to do the upper level, that's the way to go. We're in a bucket truck. It worked pretty well to do the lights and put the stuff on it. You do have to get a little better driving the truck. It was about 400 bucks to rent the truck. But it worked well, able to do that. And uh, you can see I got a little mine up, up above as well. All right. All right, so I've got my thing all done. You can see I 3D printed a bracket for my two power supplies. And then there's the controllers, which run up into the garage attic out there. And then if we come outside, that's where my power leads go out. And I have an upper and a lower that goes there. Up and around, you can see I painted all the wires and those go up. And then your lower one goes out and over and around to here. And you can see when you paint them, I don't know if you can see that, it does blend them in pretty well. Um, I will show you, I'll do another video later on tonight. Okay, so I'm going to connect this end of the extension power cord to this end, which comes out of the uh, controller and power supply. One thing I wanted to mention is you have these connections with these seals. Do not over tighten this um, nut. I did on some, and it'll actually can pull through the back side of this and then these come apart so when you put it in push it tight to the gasket and then you know snug it a little bit but don't go crazy pretty much loosen and if you're a strong finger tightener don't over tighten it because they can pull this nut right over the back of this and pop apart so you want to put a piece of wood up there and center one of your pucks under any peak because if you don't it looks weird um, because it just doesn't look right and you can see here I've run all this down and around come around the corners obviously you try to put it on each corner because skinny you, you want it to look somewhat neat this one's a little off the corner but it doesn't look bad and uh, there they go down the road all right this is the completed project you can see got all the lights on and it's running it's got what we need to do but it took about two days three days to do um, good luck with your project